Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to check the Ishin Nano V3 video transmitter. In this quick video I'm going to go over its features and specs, show you how to set it up, measure its output power and finally head outdoors and test it out. First of all, in terms of packaging, along with the VTX you're getting the user manual, a simple linear antenna with an IPX connector and 6 9cm long silicone coated wires. As for its specs, the Ishii Nano V3 VTX supports 40 channels, features RC tram protocol, has a selectable output power of 25, 100, 200 and 400 milliwatts, uses an IPX antenna connector, features an onboard microphone and its DC input voltage is 5 volts. In addition, its outer dimensions are 13.7 by 35.3 by 3.6 mm. It supports both 20 by 20 mm M3 and whoop style 25.5 by 25.5 mm M2 mounting holes and it weighs 2.3 grams. As for setting up the VTX, in case you would like to do it manually, you can use this button and then you have to make sure that the RX pad on the VTX is not connected to a flight controller. In case you would like to use RC tram protocol, which is the easiest way, simply wire the RX pad from the VTX to a free TXU out pad on the flight controller, configure it accordingly on Betaflight, and in case you are using Betaflight 4.1.0 and above, use the VTX table which is going to be included down below. On both cases, the frequency and the output power are going to be indicated by these three LEDs. In addition, one important thing that you should note when powering the VTX is that its DC input voltage is strictly 5 volts, so in case you are going to power it with a higher voltage, you are going to damage the VTX. Speaking about damaging the VTX, one of the two Ishii Nano V3 VTX that I've got was faulty out of the box as there was a short circuit between 5 volts and ground, and that's why it's important to use a flight controller with a BSC protection. Anyway, after testing out the Ishii Nano V3 VTX, I think that it performed ok, however, in my opinion, in case you are in the market for a Nano video transmitter, you should better go with the HLRC Zeus Nano VTX, as it is cheaper, offers more mounting options, and according to my test, performs better. I'm going to wrap up this video with the output power test and some flight footage, so I hope you will enjoy the rest of this video, and as always, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you liked this video and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notifications bell if you're not already subscribed. See you on my next videos and goodbye. <music>